We welcome you to South Florida and Miami. It's a beautiful night. The roof is closed at Lone Depot Park, home of the Marlins. It is game one of three between the San Diego Padres and the Miami Marlins. Welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. I'm Don Orsillo, along with Mark Grant. Welcome to Padres Baseball. Well, one area of concern for the Padres this year has been catching and the catchers offensively. The Padres made a move yesterday as they're able to claim off waivers. Gary Sanchez from the Mets. We take a look at that move. He has claimed off waivers from New York, while Brett Sullivan, who's seen a lot of playing time lately, was optioned back to El Paso. So there's the move. The Padres get Gary Sanchez. 30-year-old veteran in the pinstripes with the Yankees, but a some pretty good numbers there was a couple of years where he hit over 30 home runs nine seasons also with the twins and the mets last season with the twins a low batting average 205 but he parked 16 he drove in 61 this is definitely an area where the padres need to improve the catching position because 156 batting average to 477 ops both last in major league baseball is not going to cut it and also he does well behind the plate good receiver and he can throw a little bit as well well, the Padres will try to get their offense back on track again and kind of a tall task going up against the reigning NL Cy Young Award winner in Sandy Alcantara. And Alcantara has not really been the same guy so far this year. No, Donnie, I think it's a combination of a couple of things. He's off-speed happy. He's got the good fastball, but he needs to work down in the zone. When you take a look at the numbers in 2022, phenomenal. Earning the award, right? Look at the whip. Below one, opponents, runners in scoring position, 233. But this year, 2-5. and five. But look at the runs, 4.8. 6 ERA gets the ball up in the zone. He's got to work down. Hopefully this bodes well for San Diego to get the offense going in South Florida. Coming up, the Padres plan at catcher with Gary Sanchez signing. What is the Padres plan moving forward? Bob Scanlon checks in with the manager, Bob Melvin, on what lies ahead next on Valley Sports San Diego. a Padres uniform for the first time and making his prior debut tonight. The Padres wasting no time throwing him right into the fire to handle Ryan Weathers tonight, bat seventh in the lineup, and he has a history of hitting the long ball that the Padres are hoping he can revitalize. He has the second most home runs of any catcher in Major League Baseball since 2016. Now, this is the third organization that he's been with this season. He's with the Giants. He's with the Mets. Now, with the Padres, he has the task of not only providing some thump to this lineup, but also, quite literally, learning a pitching staff overnight. Here's what Bob Melvin had to say about the newest member of his ball club come to a point in time in the season where you're trying to incrementally upgrade so i know he's been with a few teams here recently um but does have a history of performing you know he's got a good throwing arm he's got good framing numbers at times he's got some power you know we're hoping to give him a good opportunity and give him an opportunity to upgrade the position for us a little bit Weathers goes fishing. Ryan Weathers will try to gaff himself some big fish and get the Padres off to a good start in Miami. Padres, Marlins, first pitch coming up next right here on Valley Sports San Diego. Presents Padres Baseball brought to you by Petco, official partner of the San Diego Padres. By Jack of the Box, score free jumbo jack from Jack of the Box after a Padres home run. By Nissan, explore great deals at the Nissan Thrill of the Sales event. Shop NissanUSA.com. And by Pacifico. Pacifico is a rich golden lager brewed for those who follow their own path. Pacifico, live life, anchors up. Welcome to Miami. It is the third leg of this three-city tour for the Padres. They started in Washington, then went to New York, and now in Miami, where the roof is closed outside. So check out the weather report brought to you by HGS Solar. 82 degrees, 8 miles per hour of the breeze from the northeast. And mostly cloudy is the forecast, but uh, on the humid side out there tonight. And the roof generally closed from uh, about, I don't know, mid-May on pretty much yeah, the rest get, of the year. Yeah, you can work up a serious lather, and it shouldn't yeah. be any problem for these guys to get loose and stay loose in these environs at uh, Lone Depot Park as the Padres get ready to go to hacking against a really good right-hander going for the Marlins tonight. Well, let's check out the Padres starting nine tonight on the road in Miami. It is Jake Cronenworth at the top of the order with Fernando Tatis Jr. in right, Juan Soto in left. Xander Bogarts at shortstop. It is Rugnet Odor at second with Matt Carpenter, the DH. The newcomer, Gary Sanchez, doing the catching batting seventh with Trent Christian in center. And Ha Song Kim at third base rounds out the starting nine for the Friars. 
Well, Donnie, a uh, new catcher tonight for San Diego, Gary Sanchez, and Bob Melvin talked about it, so a crash course for the catcher. Yep. Pitching staff, uh, getting to know the personalities. Uh, I'm sure it was a crash course with Ryan Weathers. A lot of communication, maybe a lot of video, and uh, we'll have to see. But, uh, you know, these guys are pros. They've done this before, and uh, hopefully it's a good fit tonight. And Gary Sanchez, uh, welcome to San Diego. Yeah, his third team this year, which is uh, kind of crazy, but uh, the Padres certainly need some offensive help uh, from the catching position, and he hopefully can provide that. But uh, as you said, learning the entire pitching staff on the fly here is going to be quite the challenge. And tonight he'll work with Brian Weathers. Let's check out the Sandy Alcantara's numbers. Of course, winning the Cy Young last year, not been as good this year in 2023. Solid stuff, that's for sure. The stuff is there. 27-year-old making his 11th start. He's given up three home runs his last five starts. Opponents hitting 243. And the, the one thing that sticks out to me is uh, fewer strikeouts. Still, you know, almost an inning per strikeout, right? But uh, six home runs. The ERA, 4.86. A lot of his pitches have been up in the zone. He's got to work down to be effective for Sandy Alcantara. Let's check out the defense behind him. Left to right across the outfield. It is uh, Brian De La Cruz in left. Former Rocky Garrett Hampson in center. Jorge Soler is in right field. Third to first, Gene Segura, John Birdie. Luis Arise and Yuli Gurriel with Jacob Stallings doing the catching for Sandy Alcantara. Well, enter the Saquon Scott Report sweepstakes by replying to tonight's Saquon Scott Report with more or less using the hashtag Saquon Scout. Tonight's Scott Report, if you think the Padres will have two or more hits on uh, Sandy Alcantara's changeup in tonight's game, reply more. If you think they'll have one or no hits off his changeup, reply less. So well, Don, game one. Yeah, you mentioned the changeup, right, from mm -hmm. Alcantara, and uh, that's been one of the pitches that's been getting knocked around a little bit. Such an effective pitch. When you leave it up in the zone, it won't have as much depth to it, won't have as much movement to it. Opponent average against the changeup, 2002, 145. This season, 327. So that's an adjustment that he is going to have to make. And once again, if it's up in the zone, the Padres got to go hacking. So here we go, first pitch of the ball game. Sandy Alcantara deals, and we are underway as Cronenworth will take strike one. 